Hi there, it's Lawrence Krauss, and uh, during this time when we're all self-isolating and self-distancing and social distancing, uh, I'm not sure when I'll get back into the studio, and either way I thought it might be nice to, during this time, to record a few videos of something I'll call 5-Minute Physics, which is basically some things from physics that, some of which are at the forefront, some of which are fairly uh, elementary, but things that relate to, to issues that people write to me about uh, or misconceptions I see in the media. So, so um, today I wanted to I want to talk about I want to use an example that may seem pretty acneed and old, but allows me to address three issues that people have been writing me a lot about um, over the last well all the time. The first is if our universe is expanding, what what is it expanding into? And the example I use involves a balloon. It's a well known, as I say, hackneyed example, but I want to describe it in a slightly different way. And it also allows me to illustrate a few other aspects of the expansion of the universe that I think will overcome some misconceptions. So I've taken a balloon and I, I tried to find stickers that looked like galaxies. These, these happen to be stickers from uh, hearing aid batteries, but it doesn't matter. Um, I put them on the balloon and, um, and, uh, and we'll certainly make the surface of the balloon expand. Okay, that's probably good enough. Now, the first question is, if the universe is expanding, what is it expanding into? Well, the point is, imagine, I'm losing some of these galaxies, but imagine that uh, each of these is a galaxy on, and, and that our universe is the surface of this balloon. If this is a two-dimensional surface. Our, our universe is really three-dimensional in real life, of course, but let's use this two-dimensional surface to illustrate this. As I blew up the balloon, except for the galaxies disappearing, every galaxy was moving away from every other galaxy. No galaxy was moving towards any other galaxy. So it's not as if um, you're crowding anything out. The surface of the balloon is simply expanding. Now you'll say, of course, it's expanding in into space. But that's just because we've chosen to embed this two-dimensional surface in a three-dimensional space. But let's imagine that this two-dimensional surface is all there is. That's it. The surface is all there is. There's no inside, no outside. Then when I blow it up and it expands, it is simply expanding. It's not expanding into anything at all. And as I say, everything is moving apart from everything else. Nothing is getting closer to anything else. This is a two-dimensional example of a closed universe where it's easier to picture, but uh, the same is true for an open universe or a flat universe. The idea is that if our universe is all there is, in this case a two-dimensional universe, then it can ex literally expand and not have to expand into anything else. There does not have to be anything else other than the surface of this balloon. In our case, other than our three-dimensional space, which itself can be expanding. Okay, hopefully that helps a little bit, but there's, a, there's two other ideas that I want to illustrate. When this universe was expanding, notice the galaxies were not expanding with the universe. People often ask, if the universe is expanding, is the Earth expanding? How come you know our, our solar system isn't expanding? And the point is that objects that are gravitationally self-bound, like our Earth, our solar system, or our galaxy, or sometimes even clusters of galaxies, they decouple from the expansion of the universe. The expansion of the universe is the expansion of space and the space between the galaxies. Not the expansion of the galaxies themselves. So as our universe is expanding, uh, the Earth is not expanding with it. We're not expanding unless we're eating a lot. And maybe during this coronavirus uh, self-isolation, you're eating a lot like I am. And maybe we're expanding in that sense. The last thing I want to point out is that as these objects are moving apart, they're not moving at all on the background space. They're, they're stuck to the balloon, the ones that haven't fallen off. So they are at rest in the background space. That means because they're at rest in background space, their clocks are ticking at the same rate as all the other clocks. Objects that are at rest in space all have their clocks relative to each other ticking at the same rate. That means clocks for what are called co-moving observers are always ticking at the same rate. And that's been true throughout the expansion of the universe. Regardless of, fa of how fast space is expanding, there's no time dilation, relative time dilation for objects that are not in relative uh, in, in motion 
it, with respect to the background space. And that means that, all of, that, that throughout the history of the universe, clocks for objects that haven't been moving through space have been ticking at the same rate. And uh, that means the universe is, is about 13.8 billion years old and you can't use time dilation as a way to get around it. Well, that's about five minutes, so I thought I'd address those three questions and maybe that helps some of you. And I'll come back again with, uh, with another five minute physics about something that's really much more basic, but I think equally important. Take care and be safe.